Hey everyone. So I just completed my second build. This is the AI synthesis mixer. My first module build was the multiple. I'll put a link to that video up in the description. This one, I had intended to do it in a similar style to the last one where I was narrating as I was doing it, but I actually ran into quite a bit of problems with this module. It was much more difficult to put together for a beginner. None of the issues were too big and I eventually solved them all, but it did take me a good couple of hours to get it together. And I think that if I were to go back and do another one, it probably realistically would only take me about a half an hour. For an experienced builder, I can't imagine it would take more than like 15 minutes or something to get this together. But I did run into a few issues and what I'm gonna do with this video is I did start editing the footage and realized that it was just too long and jumbled. So I edited it down, sped up a lot of parts and rather than having the dialogue that I was saying as I was, as I was troubleshooting everything and working things out in my brain, I'm just gonna narrate over it. So I'm gonna highlight all those issues that I ran into in hopes that if you're a beginner who's just getting into this, that it might solve some problems that you have as well. I had to take a whole bunch of breaks, look stuff up on the internet, and, and then even there were some other weird things that happened too. So I'm already learning a lot and have some great advice to give to beginners, and I hope you get something out of this. Also, if you are an experienced builder and you have any recommendations on how I could have approached things better, let me know. I'm sure there's other people watching this who will get something out of those comments too. In the end, I'm pretty psyched because I did make a working module. I tested it with control voltages. I didn't wanna take apart my whole rack and everything. So I'm gonna put it in my rack and use it with audio and everything um, at some point. But I'm, I'm pretty confident it's working. It feels solid, it looks great, this matte faceplate looks awesome. Yeah, so enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll put links for AI synthesis and this particular module kit in the description and enjoy the video. There were a lot more components in this one than the last one. Uh, the multiple was pretty much just all jacks, but here we have some capacitors. That's the PCB board. And resistors. Here's some pots, some knobs, and this was the IC socket. The first step were the resistors. Now, in the build video on the website, it was done with an older batch of these modules and apparently there was an issue with the printing, but they've resolved that because this was clearly printed. I did have to Google search this and I hope this is uh, helpful to someone who's just starting out that it does not matter the orientation of resistors. They don't have polarity so they can be installed either way. I was kind of held up on that for a while because I did see that there was some sort of uh, difference in the coloring, so I wasn't sure if it, it had to be installed a particular way, but they don't. They can go either way. So I put in all of the resistors and then I soldered them all at the same time.
Just snipping off the ends. Now here are the capacitors. Another thing I learned was if you look on the labeling, it said that these were 0.1 UF. And what I had to look up what the UF was, and it's a uh, microfarad. These were challenging because the two holes were so close together and you have to be really careful that the solder doesn't touch, but I ended up doing it okay. I should note here too that when I snipped this last end, I was wearing eye protection and I'm really happy I was because a little piece just jumped straight up at my face and hit the glasses and it absolutely would have gone in my eye had I not been wearing, wearing eye protection. So that's one of those things. I've had a, some minor injuries working in a wood shop from just stupid stuff, not wearing correct safety gear. And so I've learned my lesson and I definitely don't take any more chances. So this is the IC socket and chip. And one thing I learned is that the chips are susceptible to heat. So they give you this little socket that you're supposed to solder in and then you can insert the chip after. That way the chip doesn't actually need to be soldered with heat. So I put it in and bent down the edges so that it stays in place and then I soldered it. Again, I found these really challenging just because the holes are so close together and I'm still kind of inexperienced at soldering, but all in all, it, it went together fine. And then these are the two remaining capacitors. Here are the jacks. These I felt pretty good about since I had just done some in the last video. I did have a little bit of trouble standing it up. It was a little bit off center. And I just folded the cardboard from the, the, uh, from the packaging and made a little stand and that worked fine. And here are the pots. Now in the build video on AI Synthesis website, uh, it suggested that there might be little nibs that stick up. I didn't have that issue with either of these. I did find them kind of challenging to get in at first. It was just, um, just took some figuring out. I had to bend the, the, the sides that uh, hold it in place. I had to bend those in a little bit to get it in. But just being unfamiliar with materials and how to do this I was hesitant to bend too much because I didn't want to break it um, but once I started I was on a roll
So I, I had a hard time figuring out how to get this to stand up. I didn't have any type of like stand. So I used the box from the solder and that seemed to work pretty well to get it to just to be horizontal. But this was the first problem that I encountered. Uh, you'll see after I finish soldering these that the second pot, second one down from the top, once I turn it around, I realize that it's not, it was, I, I should have taken greater care in making sure that it was 90 degrees. So the pot was off center and unfortunately I had soldered it in place. So I had to kind of figure out what I was going to do about that. I think it's pretty good and then I realized that that pot is is not straight so I tried using this soldering pump because I was going to try and remove the solder and just do the whole thing again this I did not have any success at all with this that tool um, eventually I just tried to put the faceplate on and I had to bet it was tough to get on so I did bend the pot a little bit and it actually worked out fine you can't even really tell anymore and it's still in there solid so there is a little bit of bend to these it wasn't that bad but I did learn my lesson and we'll take greater care in the future to make sure they're 90 degrees this one is the one where I ran into the most trouble with and that's putting on the uh, I think it's called the power socket. One of the troubles was it doesn't stay in place. So I had to have it on, I had to have it on the table with the module sitting on top of it. The only issue was that there was so much other stuff that it kept falling over. And whenever it would lean, the one of the sides were coming out so it wasn't going in flush so I had a really hard time it was the kind of situation where I wish I had three hands but I did eventually just make another sort of um, make another makeshift rig with cardboard from the packaging to get it to a place where I could solder it but that's not where my troubles stopped with this part it was very challenging to solder all these. They were um, so close together, but here's where I ran into the biggest issue of the night in a second. So now I'm putting the IC socket in. This went in fine. It just took some figuring it out. So here's the biggest problem of the night was it was kind of difficult to get this power plug in and eventually I just pushed it in and as you can see all of the pins got pushed up and through the board. So I'm not even sure if they really went into it. What I ended up doing was taking the power cable back out, I pushed them all back down and then I just re-soldered them in place. I'm not sure if this was the best solution to this. I mean, realistically, if I had had another power socket, I probably would just would have removed all of these parts and replaced the entire part. And I'm not even sure what the issue was, if it was that the power cables, if the holes in the power cable were too tight or if they were too loose in the jack but I couldn't get it in again after and I wasn't pushing that hard. What I ultimately ended up doing was I tried a Dofer plug from one of my other modules and it went in fine. So that made me think it was the power cable and not the plug. What I ended up doing was taking the cable and plugging it into one of my Dofer modules and it was really hard to get into there, but once I stuck it in once, that seemed to loosen whatever it was up, 
and then I was able to bring it back to this module and it plugged in fine. So I'm not really sure what the issue was there, but, um, but I did run into issues with that. Here the knobs have set screws and you needed to have uh, an Allen key for it. I wasn't expecting that. Um, this was the only Allen key that I had. This was the only Allen wrench that I knew where it was. And it was kind of hard to do it with this uh, big honking Swiss army knife type of uh, Allen wrench key. And the big knob had a needed a precision screwdriver flathead to do that set screw. But overall this part was pretty easy. And at this point in the night I had been working for two hours so I was extremely tired and but I wanted to test it just to see if it worked. It wasn't a full test but I did plug it in with the modules that I had used on the multiple and just kind of mix together some control voltages to confirm that it powered up, it was working fine, and I was successful in the build. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to plug this into my rack and try and get some audio out of it. My next build is going to be an oscillator. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.